I, before I was a coach, I was a professional ballet dancer. And I've always felt that choreography is any deliberate movement, any intentional movement, including starting with our thoughts. And so I always encourage people to choreograph their life. Well, you've hinted at it, but who are you? And who are you to be talking about the game of life? <clears throat> um, who am I? I am personally, uniquely, uh, someone who grew up in the world of art. My father was an artist. I was a professional ballet dancer who was so blessed and lucky to be offered a scholarship at UCLA to be their dance coach and choreographer. And then I became, then I was asked to be their head coach in 1990. And so I've lived in this amazing world of athletics at the highest level at UCLA for 37 years, having never competed in athletics. I've never done anything in athletics. And coming, I feel like any time in life that someone comes to a situation with fresh eyes, that is when we really see a clearer picture. And I was able to show up every day for our team and our training and our competitions with fresh eyes because I'm still at heart a dancer, performer, theater is my heart. And I was able to look at this world of athletics from a fresh lens every day. Would it be fair to say that you created yourself as a world-class gymnastics coach? Yes, my, my rise in my field was absolutely intentional. I chose my coaching. I chose when my student athletes came to me and shared with me that my coaching style was hurtful and demeaning. I chose to change. First of all, I chose to listen. And then I chose to change. <laughs>